1944, on the eve of the D-Day invasion, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, Supreme Allied Commander, delivered this inspirational message to the troops. You are about to embark on the great crusade towards which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. Good luck, and let us beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this whole undertaking. The tide turned on June the 6th, 1944. The greatest crusade ever undertaken by men-at-arms landed on the beaches of Normandy. The wall of Hitler's fortress Europe was breached. Ceremony, the Honorable John L. Marsh Jr., Secretary of the Army, representing the President of the United States of America. We are here to remember what was done at this place and why. We are here to thank the living and to honor the dead. Our presence is a symbol that what occurred here was important and what was endured here should never be forgotten. From the vantage point of time, it is our task, it is our duty to discern the grandeur of purpose, to more clearly define the values of that purpose. It is important that we understand that we are the beneficiaries of their sacrifice and just how we have benefited. This 45th anniversary of Normandy is the 40th year of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, an alliance for freedom that has its roots in Normandy, an alliance that has kept the peace in Western Europe for a longer period of time than any time since the fall of the Roman Empire. Only through the eyes of the past can we see the consequences of the deeds that are done each day. And 45 years later, we can begin to measure the importance of Normandy to us all and to a world that someday might be at peace with freedom under law. And for those, for those who fell, they died in youth that liberty might grow old. The Secretary of the Army will now place the presidential wreath, assisted by Sergeant Major of the Army Gates.